All right, we're going to talk about business models in class today. Basically, the reason why we're going to talk about business models is how to make money. So, from what you think you might know about business models, what would be an example of a business model? Any ideas? I'll give you one. Yes. Uh, I don't know. You sell lemonade, you get money, and then you invest in more lemonade. And keep sure. So, so, basically, you've got a product. <coughs> You make it available to people and they buy it from you. That's one way to make money, okay? Simple business model. Here's another example using the case of lemonade. Rather than selling the lemonade, which depends upon you having to talk to the customer. It might be a warm day, people buy lemonade. It might be a cool day, they don't buy lemonade. What you could do is you could set up a website telling everybody in the greater Boston area where all the lemonade stands are so people could go there the lemonade people would pay you money to get put on your website. So that's a way of making money and you didn't do anything with lemonade. You didn't touch the lemonade, but you're making money off the lemonade business. That's another example of a business model, right? Here's another example of a business model. Let's look at the website for lemonade stand donations or lemonade stand business around the Boston area. You could also make money by letting people advertise on the website. So you can have Vanya's lemonade stand at Pine Street, 10% off, and he pays me money because I'm running the website to be profiled up on the first page. That's another example of a business model, right? Here's another way of making money. You could have the people who supply to the lemonade stands. Joe's Paper Cups used it, 17 lemonade stands in the Boston area. I have a little banner out there. So the reason I wanted you to understand this variety of things because making money on the internet is much more complicated and much, there's much greater variety than simply taking two pieces of wood and nail them together. There's also information about things as well. And when we take information about a whole bunch of things together and then make that available to somebody for free or for advertising purposes, we call that aggregate. Now, in this unit, we're going to talk about different types of business models. I'm going to start off talking about Machiavelli. Has anybody ever heard of Machiavelli before? What did you hear about Machiavelli? Um, <clears throat> he, was, he was kind of like an Italian philosopher. Yes. Type of deal. Um, he pretty much said it's better to be feared than loved. You know, that That's was right. All I know about him. And why is it good sometimes to be feared than loved? Some people say it's better to be respected than liked. Go ahead. Because Sometimes people take advantage of you if they love you, but if they fear you, they probably won't. That's right. So if you were trying to run a country, and you've got a whole lot of people, and some of them agree and some of them disagree, it doesn't matter if they love you. What matters is they obey the law. The traffic laws, uh, pay their taxes on time, that way you can run the country, right? So that's what he's talking about, right? Have you ever heard of the expression, people behaving in a Machiavellian way? Have you ever heard of that before? When people say the end justifies the means. That's another... Thing that we get from the heritage of Machiavelli's book, The Prince. Now, the other thing he said about business models was, there's nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct, more uncertain in success than the lead in the new order of doing things. What do you think that means? Very it's risky to be an innovator. It's very risky to be an innovator. Right. So it's risky to go first. But sometimes you're very successful if you go first. A good example of that is McDonald's the first fast food company, and they're still number one many decades later. Burger King's good, Wendy's is doing okay, you've got the other ones that are in second, third, fourth place, but McDonald's was first, and they're still number one. So sometimes going first is risky, but if you have first mover advantages, that can be a good thing. Can you think of any examples where a company was first in the beginning, and now they're in second place? Yes. Yahoo. Perfect. I was just going to say, search engines. So why do you think Google is now better than Yahoo? Were they able to look at the mistakes that Yahoo did? Definitely. Right. The search engine algorithm that Yahoo used was not as complicated and advanced as Google that came along later. Also, Yahoo's business model was different. When you go to the website for Yahoo, it's got a whole bunch of things there for vacations and horoscope. credit card application and weather and 57 million different places around the world and so on. If you go to Google web page, it's just one little line, you type in where to go look up stuff. 
different business models, right? Different ways of making money. In the beginning, Yahoo thought because everybody's going to the website, we can make money by selling banner ads. Advertising because people want exposure. Google's model was a little bit different. Their model was based upon selling the operation of their search results to other companies like Altavist and Yahoo. That's how they made money in the beginning was the Yahoo search engine used some of the search results from Google. So that's another way of having a business model. Now, if you have a shotgun approach where you've got a little tiny batter ad for, say, vacations or real estate, and everybody goes to the Yahoo page and sees that, your conversion rates, meaning the number of people that click on it and then go buy something, is very, very low because it's a shotgun approach. But Google's business model was different. They didn't do that. If you typed in the word real estate and then went to the real estate page, then a little ad would come up related to real estate. So their more targeted approach was another example of a business model.